The world has been passing through cold and warm periods throughout its history. Over the past 400,000 years, there have been four major ice ages. If we look at the last 20,000 years, we see that the Earth is currently in one of the brief warm periods between ice ages. If we zoom in on the last 1,500 years and look at a graph presented by the IPCC in its first report, we see a period known as the medieval warm period about 800 years ago, when the Earth was much warmer than now. We also see that we have been emerging from the Little Ice Age over the past 150 to 300 years. There is a great deal of historical evidence relating to the medieval warm period. Vikings sailed ice-free seas to colonise a green Greenland. Grapes were grown in Britain. In China, the climate was a degree warmer than currently, and citrus trees were grown much further north than now. The medieval warm period was followed by the Little Ice Age. The Thames froze over. Rabbits froze in their burrows. Grain growing in Ireland ended. It was a time of great sickness and plague, crop failure, chaos and many deaths. In China, warm weather crops such as oranges were abandoned in Qingxi province, where they had been grown for centuries. The Arctic pack ice extended so far south that there are six records of Eskimos landing their kayaks in Scotland. The world has warmed steadily for the past 300 years. However, modern temperature measurements introduced a new complication as populations increased. Cities produce what is known as the heat island effect, where the centre of a city can be up to five degrees warmer than surrounding rural areas. Most temperatures are measured near cities, so as cities grew, so did apparent temperatures. The graph shows how rural areas have not experienced anything like the warming of cities. The IPCC takes this data and produces a global average temperature that it says is increasing. Moreover, the IPCC claimed that the recent increasing temperatures are caused by man's emission of carbon dioxide and are not part of the warming from the Little Ice Age. The magnitude of the increase in annual average temperatures are shown here compared to the range of temperatures across the globe. The tiny red spot is the 0.006 degrees per annum average temperature increase. It is worth examining the background of the IPCC. It all started with Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher was a strong advocate of nuclear power and nuclear weapons, having bought Trident missiles in 1982. In 1984, long-standing industrial disputes came to a head with the coal miners' strike. The miners had a stated aim of bringing down Thatcher. Thatcher's nuclear goals were further thwarted in 1986 by the Chernobyl disaster which strongly reinforced anti-nuclear public opinion. Thatcher fought back and in 1989 enacted the Non-Fossil Fuels Proliferation Treaty. This was successful in seeing the growth of wind power, but little else. In a final attack on the coal unions, in 1990, Thatcher formed the Hadley Centre to attempt to show that coal emissions were causing global warming. Global warming provided an excuse for reducing the UK's dependence on coal by replacing it with nuclear power. The Hadley Centre was immediately merged with the newly formed IPCC, becoming its working party number one. The latest IPCC report in 2007 provides no evidence of any kind that man's carbon dioxide is actually causing global warming. It simply describes the climate. It also describes the theory used by models to amplify the effects of carbon dioxide on temperature. There is no dispute that the world has been warming since the Little Ice Age. What is claimed is that man's carbon dioxide is now causing warming at a rate that is unprecedented. If we compare temperatures for the past 30 years with the 30 years from 1910, we can clearly see that this is not true. The IPCC 2007 report also states that recent temperatures can be used to validate the forecasts made by computer models. If we look at the most recent IPCC data, we see no warming over the past decade. In fact, the past seven years have seen a steady cooling. The current cooling, rather than supporting the theory of man-caused global warming, 
indicates that the IPCC model forecasts are wrong. The IPCC advocates spending $2 trillion per annum in carbon taxes to halt a non-existent warming of 0.006 degrees per annum. This massive amount is 7,000 times Greenpeace's annual budget, all without any evidence or any guarantees of any kind.